What's going on, Colts Nation? Quick update here for you. The Indianapolis Colts announced that they are planning to activate defensive end Kamoko Ture off of injured reserve. Ture has not played a snap this season due to a really significant ankle injury he suffered last year in the win against Kansas City just about a year ago, a little more than a year ago. But this is obviously great news for the Indianapolis Colts uh, defense, especially the defensive end position. We know how good the interior of the defense has been on the defensive line. But just getting Ture back, who last year he was your best pass rusher uh, through the games that he played in the season. Getting a player like him back, you know, maybe it's just a limited snap count, but this gives you a little bit more juice at the defensive end position. I mean, we we already know uh, Justin Houston, who uh, you know had a great season last year. He's having a pretty good season this year, but uh, you know, it's kind of expected with age. Uh, his sack numbers have been down a little bit from last year. Um, Danico Autry's obviously been good in spurts. Tyquan Lewis has been good, but getting Ture back, he's your best speed rusher by far. Getting a player like him back, it just is going to help your pass rush so, so much. Troy was one of the best uh, defensive ends last year in terms of pressure rate and sack rate uh, in the league when he was healthy. And so if he can stay healthy this year, this is a much, much needed boost for this Colts defensive line. This defensive line has been really good. It's been probably one of the strengths of this defense. And uh, just getting a player back to add a little bit, little bit more to DeForest Buckner, who's obviously been a force this year, to Tyquan Lewis, who I already mentioned, who has really had a nice uh, breakout year so far. Uh, Danico Autry leads the team in sacks as well. Just getting another guy back like that, um, just it, it's, it's huge for this defense. It really is. This defense has been pretty good. They've improved on last year in terms of sacks. Getting Ture back just helps in that department even more because we already know with a player like DeForest Buckner, who commands double teams a lot, it's going to give Ture a lot more one-on-one -on -one opportunities against offensive tackles. Last year, he was feasting. He was playing fantastic at the defensive end position. So this is obviously huge, huge news out of Colts land. Um, looks like Kamoko Ture will be activated for a very big game against Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. The Colts come off Thursday night victory, feeling pretty good, but they got to continue to win. They have a really... Uh, this is more, more probably one of their toughest tests of the season. Uh, we saw last week, uh, I guess yesterday, uh, the Jaguars were able to put some pressure on Aaron Rodgers and really were able to get him, you know, obviously Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers, but they were able to get him uncomfortable. And getting Ture back will be a huge boost for this defense, potentially if they want to slow down Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams and company. Uh, Ture's healthiness is huge for this defense, and, and so – uh, I am so excited as a Colts fan. So excited to see him back. Um, I think he's going to provide a great boost, even if he is on a pitch count to start the season, uh, to start his, I guess, his season back. It's still huge. It's still huge to get a guy of that caliber who's shown he can be a disruptive force on the edge. So that'll do it for this episode, guys. How excited are you guys on a scale from 1 to 10 to get to Kamoko Ture back? I think we're about a 20 at this point because this guy's a beast. He's a beast when he's healthy. If he can stay healthy, this Colts defense could even get better this season. So that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much. And as always, go Colts.